Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haris and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about that how you can boost your FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 2 by applying these simple steps. So guys, this video is going to be really interesting. So just watch the video till the end. And if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, first of all, uh, talk about the resolution so i recommend using a uh, stretch resolution but i'm currently using 192010 x 1080 uh, because i'm recording this video and uh, if you want to uh, convert your resolution into stretch resolution so watch my tutorial based on stretch resolution check my description and uh, watch the full video where you uh, see the best resolution which suits your pc and the next thing is the v sign so guys if you have if you're playing your game and your little and pc then you need to uh turn this off it's unnecessary and adds input delay in your game and uh, after that the next thing is the frame rate so uh, set your frame rate limit uh, match your monitor's refresh rate for example if your monitor is 144 hertz cap your fps at 144 now guys let's talk about the wearing mode that's a lot of debate between dx11 and performance mode interestingly some pieces perform better with dx11 so i suggest testing both to see which works best for your system but mostly pro players use uh, performance mode uh, on their system and uh, moving on to the uh, graphic settings most pro stick to normal settings i recommend setting your patterns to around 130 and for 3d resolution keep it between 90 to 95 percent to reduce the number of pixels rendered and uh, boosting your fps and reducing input in your game and the next thing guys is the view distance uh, so it doesn't impact uh, on your fps so much so you can set it to near or medium and set textures and meshes uh, set to low to maximize your fps and minimize the input delay scroll down to game settings and disable anything related to replays and energy saving once you have made these change changing i'll simply click on apply and close your game so guys after that the next thing is we need to set some epic games launcher setting so open your epic games launcher and here you need to go to the library option here you need to find your game click on three dots and open options now here you need to uh, unmark or turn off some settings like the first one is uh, save the world if you don't play save the world then turn it off high resolution texture you need to turn this off uh, because uh, if you play your game on your low end pc then definitely you need to unmark this option and uh, once you unmark this you will also get free space uh, free storage of 17 gp uh, in your drive and uh, if you talk about the pre download stream assets uh, turn it off for low end pc gamers and that's it after that uh, if the dx12 option uh, here available and uh, uh, you have low end pc then you need to turn this off also after that simply click on apply and that's it now close this and the next thing is we need to again go to uh, click on three dots and go to the manage options and uh, in the launch options guys first you need to enable this and uh, right here dash d3 d11 if you want to play your game on uh, dx11 and if you face any kind of crash or error uh, a random crash um, while playing your game then you need to click on verify to uh, verify your game files uh, and if any of the game file is corrupted then this step will fix your problem after that close the epic games launcher and the next thing is we need to upgrade our graphics driver so what we're gonna do is for nvidia user first you need to open your geforce experience and here you need to go to the drivers tab and simply click on check for updates and it will automatically check for latest uh, drivers in your pc and for amd user guys you can do the same step in your red on software and the next thing guys is we need to uh, close some background applications so for this you need to go to your search bar and in here you need to type settings and in the settings op options you need to go to the privacy section 
and as you see here in general there are four tabs uh, turn off all of them one by one and down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in the background my background apps are already turned off so get back and I move to the gaming section here uh, so guys if you have a low NPC then you need to apply these settings like game bars turn it off capture setting turn it off and game mode turn it on here and uh, here you need to go to the graphic settings add your game click to browse like add your fortnite client win64 shipping file it's already added uh, select your game click to options and set on high performance now click to save and that's it now get back and now move to the next part and the uh, next thing is we need to delete some junk or bad files in our system so what we're gonna do is press window key plus r and here we need to uh, type some commands like the first one is prefetch p r e f e t c h it's a first command type this command in the run uh, dialog box click to ok click to continue Control a select all and delete all of these bad files in your system skip the step and again one more time press window key plus r and uh, use the second command here like percentage t e m p again percentage it's a second command press ok Control a select all and delete these files also don't worry these all are like unnecessary or junk files so don't worry and delete these uh, bad files and once you delete these files from here then you need to delete this file from the recycle bin also The last thing guys is we need to install the latest DirectX and Visual Retribution files if these settings doesn't work properly. So what we're gonna do is visit the official website of DX and install DX uh, like 12 in, in your PC. Accept the agreement, click to next, install the Bing bot, it's optional, click to next and wait for it. And after some minutes, it's done, click to finish and now move back to the visual packs. Uh, like uh, visit their official website and download all the visual files that needed to run the game properly so it's a batch file run this batch file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system so you just need to click to yes click to ok and rather of the steps it will automatically perform click to yes click to ok and uh, after few minutes it's done now the pack steps are complete and before launching your game guys the last thing is we need to free our cpu space from the task manager so open your task manager and check your cpu space from the performance tab here and because fortnite and any other online game mostly based on your cpu so what you uh, gonna see is that uh, if any of the background application or program or file that takes your cpu memory so just find these kind of applications and right click on that uh, uh, programs and end task these kind of applications so in case like any recording software or any adobe photoshop kind of a software uh, running in your background while you play your game then you need to end task these kind of programs and after free your cpu space guys now you're ready to launch your game and now you can play your game without any lag freezing or starting kind of an issue and now you will see a huge fps boost difference in your game so guys if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out